What's good, what's good YouTube? Welcome back to another sneaker review on Sneak On Fit 360. I'm very excited today to show you guys the shoe. Check what shoe I'm wearing real quick and you already know what I'm going to talk about. Let's take a quick walk over here and then we're going to start. Let's take a look at this bag real quick. This is from the Nike store. You know, even though the handles are kind of long, but I feel like, you know, it's kind of like maybe a handbag feel to it, you know? But um, the bag is very high quality. I got it for free. And it's awesome. And it's funny at the same time because I ordered this shoe, um, I believe last week, if I'm not mistaken. Let me go ahead and fold up my address real quick, and then I'll show you guys. Um, got them from Nike store and the reason why I got this shoe I, I've been waiting out to see you know because we've been getting a lot of J's and this and that and you know uh, saving up the money for this but um just go ahead and ignore this part this is the hat go ahead and ignore the top it's $14.97 but the shoe itself is a hundred bucks right and then for some reason Nike sent me a $50 reward card Okay, as you can see right there, it's a credit gift card. Okay. It's not a discount. It's straight up $50 credit, which is really cool. They, they, um, they wanted to thank me for being a uh, loyal Nike customer. Maybe because of the fact that every single time I bought something or purchased something from Nike, they'll give me the survey thing and then I keep on doing it. Store survey, you get $5 for a gift card. And you can use it on almost anything, but it just, you know, it's like a cycle. Every time you purchase something, they'll give you a new code. You do it, let's say you do it on Monday, they'll send it into your email by Friday. So yeah, that's the benefit. Now, the funny story is that I bought this shoe, I was in a rush, and it came home. It turned out to be a woman's Nike Free 5.0, size 8.5. So it came home today at 11. I was so happy today. It's Thursday, by the way. So I opened it. I'm like, wait, the box looks kind of small. Okay, box look kind of small, shoe is small, so I open it up. I'm like, hey, you know, it's not good, it's eight and a half. What am I tripping for? And then next thing you know, I looked at the receipt, I'm like, WMNS, whoa, woman's. So boom, call my Nike, you know, the uh, running store over at Costa Mesa. They, um, they were cool. They, they, they actually hold a shoe for me, and I just came and did a quick exchange. And the guy was so nice, he even asked me if I wanted a bag. And yes high quality bag it came with that little white thing in there for support base support cover uh, without further ado let's get into the shoe so we have 5.0 Nike free 5.0 uh, notice there's no plus this is the Nike free 5.0 what I like to call aka Nike free 5.0 2014 edition size eight and a half like always retail for a hundred dollars your usual orange box nothing nothing changes and as you open it up you know since this box is not the Nike free plus it would not have that little slot where you put the chip in there to measure your running distance etc it's gonna give you another sticker that says what you should know about your Nike free and then just a quick you know I'll just read you one sentences one or two sentences actually. It says Nike Freeze are different than traditional athlete shoes. They're designed to let your feet move more freely and naturally, which means your muscles will be doing a bit more work than demanded of them in some other athlete shoes. And then some other stuff, you know? Normal tissue paper. Boom. It's so fresh. And I was so, so, so excited to see the new changes to the sole. Let's take a look at the shoe 360 view real quick. We got front view of the shoe, right side of the right shoe, back of the heel of it, back to the left, back to the front, bottom sole, out sole, top view. Okay, let's break down the shoe real quick. You can see right there, you got your woven fabric. Very soft, very unique. It feels like a sweater, like a warm sweater on a winter or fall day, okay? Very warm, and if you look carefully, I don't know if the camera, hopefully the camera gonna be able to capture that pattern. Mm. Okay, it's kind of like a, um, what I like to call star 
crisscross. A little bit mixture of pattern in there. You know, a little diamond pattern. You, you got your mesh all the way underneath this. You can see right down the tongue, you got your mesh. Just like the free run three that I'm wearing on my feet right now, you got your mesh. But do remember that the diamond shapes are a little bit closer comparing to my Nike Free 3.0. My Nike Free on 3. I'm sorry for that. And then it feels like this woven fabric is laid on top of that foundation. Now, we're looking at the right side. We're looking at the, the outer part of the shoe. You got your white Nike swoosh. You know, unfortunately, it's not 3M. Or is it? I'll check it out later. But it seems like it's not 3M. Okay, but it is fine. So now we're looking at the outer sole or the midsole of it. You got your 5.0 sole. Okay, but it's not fully the same color. Boom, you got some red painting right there. And then the rest of it is white. You see a little indent in there for your, um, you know, more support, more, you know, stability, stuff like that. A little bit of orange. Let me take out my glasses and check it out. A little bit of orange um, or maybe coral. It seems like coral orange, you know, mixed with red. And then notice on my Nike, uh, Plus three. See all these right here? The eyelids. The neon green. The one that came home today, it was the um, women's, the women edition. It was green. It was neon green. So same color concept as the three that I have. But except for this one, you'll notice that the fly wire is yellow. Same thing for the tongue. Yellow mesh. A little bit harder up here. You can see it as I scratch it and it makes that, you know, um, nylon sound to it. And then your tongue, way thinner than before. Very flappy, thinner, feel uh, very spongy. It feels like a sponge, you know. Uh, Nike embolded, uh, the logo, italicized bolded, Nike Free 5.0. White Nike swoosh again. And then this back part, we got this uh, diamond, white diamond netting. And as you can see again, you got your coral and red, uh, you know, um, uh, fabric all the way on the bottom level and then your white on top and then we're looking at the sole this sole is the major upgrade from the um from the from the from the 3 plus the 4.0 along with you know some of the finest this and that but this is a completely new different looking sole hexagonal flex as you can see i mean it's not as flexible as my 3.0 or my nike I'm sorry, I am keep mixing up the number. It's not as flexible as my Nike uh, Free Run 3. But as you can see right there, they do separate, okay? And you kind of tell that this has a more freedom to it. More, um, you know, original to its name. Free, free movement. So you can bend this way as well as this way, okay? If you've watched my other video, you see how I bend it into a ball on my Nike Free 3.0. This one can do the same thing, but it is a little stiffer because of this, okay? For more stability. Now do uh, keep in mind that this shoe is good for running distances. It's not good for doing sprint or stuff like that. Those are more lenient toward uh, trainers and stuff like that because they do not give as much support as the trainer for these three right here. So for, for long distance, that's a plus. Um, now the reason why I got the color red out of black, you know, um, some other ones I forgot, black, uh, blue, what I like to call peacock is that a bunch of other things right here. But I mean, I like this one. I like this one a lot because it resembles the Nike uh, Free Run 3 that I, that I own. Currently wearing, that brought me the most view on my channel, on our channel. 200 and something thousand views. You can see I gym in them and look at them. The sole is <laughs> separating. For for those people that say you know I, I buy my, my free ones to to rock for you know casual no not not that only I wear it to the gym as well. Faction. Yeah. So uh, let's take a, a a walk over there and I'll show you my free run collection. Okay. So this is me and my brother's free run collection. As you can see on the far right, you have your Nike free run 2 right here in the original black and white. 
My brother no longer wear them because um, we just want to keep them like that. You know, we've been wearing them for a while. As you can see right here, the tongue does not flap or anything like that. You got your big diamond mesh comparing to the three. The three is much smaller. I wish I had the very first free run, but you know, maybe I'll buy them later on. And then the next shoe that we bought is this one right here. I was very excited when it came out with this and then eventually we bought this one. This is the the third pair I believe. The first very when the the one that comes out. The the very first one for the 5.0. This is the plus series, so you can still see your plus right there. And um the next one we bought was the black, all black three for my dad. Actually, the gray one, but my dad's wearing it right now. He's uh, he's running, he's walking around, exercising right now. And then the next one was the 5.0 in black colorway. And then my brother has another one of these in a size nine. And then the very new one, very uh, recent one we bought was the Shoe Series H2O Repel. And it's pretty cool because the whole upper is 3M except for the uh, toe box side panel. Uh, 3M swoosh as well, and then you got your Jamaican green. It's a plus edition as well. Uh, shoe series, and it says running on the insole. Uh, I believe this is from Nike Korea because you got your uh, tag in uh, you know Korean language. But yeah, I mean, uh, to give a shout out, just a quick shout out to the Nike outlet. I mean, the blog they don't have them anymore, but um, we got these over at. Um, Ontario Mills so check that out if you haven't but if you're local you ain't know what's up got these for 41 something 41 uh, I forgot the price but it was like 59.99 uh, you got your you know additional 30% off went down to 41 and then tax and everything went up to 45 46 and then I got the $5 survey went down to 41 so technically 41 bucks for that super super comfortable so yeah now, I'm going to show you guys the shoe on free 360 so uh, stay tuned. What's good YouTube? I'm back to show you guys the shoe on free 360 They feel pretty snug. Um, you have more space and freedom towards the front. Um, the, the fact that the fly wires are there, if you have the 5.0 Plus from 2013, you're going to feel a bit more tightness, uh, more ankle support. Uh, right side of the right shoe. Forgot to mention the diamond shape right here and that fly wire really adds up to the design. Diamond shape, uh, netting. I like the fact that they brought back the netting because if you look carefully on this 5.0 Plus, you no longer have the netting. So it seems like they combined this along with the netting from the Free Run 3. That's in here a bit. You got your white netting, okay, white also, hexagonal flex. Very, very light. The shoe, you know, very, very light. Left side of the left shoe. I'm going to show you guys the shoe with short real quick because uh, this is how you're going to be wearing them anyways to gym, to run, whatever. Be right back. What's good YouTube? I'm back to show you guys the shoe with short. This is my gym short. Starter from Walmart for just a couple bucks. Maybe seven or eight bucks. Very durable. Um, excuse my hairy legs because you know I don't shave my legs. This and that. <laughs> but yeah, front view of the shoe. Right side of the right shoe. This is my favorite because I like to wear ankle socks. I don't like to wear tube socks or any of that. Occasionally, yeah, but not all the time. Come back to the left. We're filming with the um, 5D Mark III, I think. So they have more quality compared to older video. So yeah, thanks again, you guys. Uh, thanks again for tuning in. Uh, make sure you guys stay tuned. Um, check out the. No, the free run three just look it up on my channel 200 and something views um, i love you guys for that thanks for watching keep tuning in you know keep checking for further updates and um yeah um once again uh, head over to facebook 
Um, I, I, I believe it's facebook.com forward slash um, sneaker game Orange County or SGOC. I think sneaker game Orange County. Okay, I'm gonna put the link in the description box. So check that out. Um, request to join. I'll join you guys real quick. And then we got more pickups on the way. Uh, I, I won't tell you guys. I keep that as a surprise element. Um, but I'm very excited to get onto those shoes soon. So uh, thanks again for watching. Rate, comment below. Let me know what you think about the shoe. Let me know if you got them. You plan to get them. If yes, what color? How you planning to rock them to the gym, wherever? It's all good. Peace.